thanks for stopping by the channel and tuning into this short video. Um, the video today is about solar uh, panel chargers. I've been looking into uh, getting a solar panel charger for a multi-day hike which is coming up very soon. And there's loads on the market, all different prices. You can get um, two panel chargers, three panel chargers and four panel chargers. There's loads out there to choose from. Um, I was blinded, blinded by science really, I don't know which one to pick. But um, I eventually saw this one on eBay, it was second hand. And I bought it for £50. Um, I thought I'd take a punt, I don't know if they work. I thought I'd check it out just to see if it, it, it did work. So um, these brand new were £135 or around that price. And for that price you get the, the charger. Um, I believe you get the carabiners to hook onto your backpack. You get a lead and you get two um, power banks as well. That's for £135. But I pay £50 I just got the, the solar panel and that is it. So we open it up. It's a three panel monocrystalline solar panel charger. And I think it weighs in the region of 860 grams, something like that. So I was a bit um, skeptical about buying one, see if it works. So we've got a nice, perfect um, sunny day. I think it's 23 degrees, something like that. Um, so I'll just show you the back of it. You've got two USB ports and there's an LED light on there as well. Um, I think as soon as you put it towards the sun, that should come on, right? So you've got these little elasticated straps on the back to put your devices in. Um, obviously, you plug your device into one of those and then you can zip it back up. And that will stay in there while you are hiking or whatever activity you're doing with it. So... I think um, for best results, you are meant to get um, a power bank in the back and charge a power bank. And then when that's fully charged, you can charge other device like a phone or a watch, for example. And there's loads of things you can charge with it. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge my phone because it's got a, a percentage display on it. And I'll leave it outside for an hour. And then hopefully, see if it works, fingers crossed, um, we can check back and see if it's actually um, put power into my phone and see what percentage it is. So, um, do they work? Let's find out. I should have mentioned the actual brand of this solar panel is a Sunjack 25 watt. The phone is plugged into one of the two USB ports and if I hold it up to the sun you can see the LED light is on. Currently my phone is on 52% charge so we're going to put it out in the garden now for approximately an hour. Let's this up. Make sure it don't fall out. So it's a beautiful day, about 23 degrees, the sun is shining. Uh, the solar panel is there now, laid out. We leave there for one hour. And we'll come back and um, see if it works, basically. Right then, this is the moment of truth. The hour is up. Let's see how much charge we've got on my phone. So remember we started on 52% and it's actually now on 86%. So it's charged my phone 
in one hour 34 percent wow that's pretty damn good if i do say so myself obviously you know it was in direct sunlight for one hour no cloud in the sky so to be fair that's a that's a pretty good uh first time using this uh, solar charger so i'm pretty blown away by that to be honest with you oh, that's great news now we know it works and that was the purpose of the test i gotta say that was a, a positive result from the sun jack solar panel um obviously perfect weather conditions um Led to you know to the thirty four percent charge on my phone. Um, let's not kid ourselves. Like you know, the weather's not always sunny, especially in Britain. Um, we have a lot of clouds, a lot of cloud cover, rain, etc. So obviously, um, you're not going to get as good results with this, or it might even it might not even work at all. I don't know. Um, but um, at least I know it works. Um, other factors come into it as well. If you're backpacking and this is hanging off the back of your rucksack, um, the solar panels are not always going to face the sun. You could be walking and the, the solar panels facing away from the sun, so obviously you get different results then. Um, like I said, the weather is going to play a big factor, but first time we've used it, um, quite impressed. At least now it's not going to be a, an expensive paperweight, which I thought it might have been. So yeah, it's, uh, it's good news and I'm glad it works. So um, can't wait to try it out now on, a, on our through, on our multi-day hike, which is coming next next month. So yeah, if you ever found this video useful and uh, informative and you like the results of what, you, what you've seen with this Sunjack solar panel, consider hitting the, the like button or even, if, if you fancy it, hit the subscribe button as well. So uh, it all helps the channel. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.